We're underway. Daily Cherry Evans kicks things off. The Knights will have the first possession, and the Rostock says, I'll hit it back. Tackle 10 out. Clean shaven after raising some money for charity. Nathan Ross out there on the left wing. Slade Griffin, the first Premiership winner from last year in action in round one. Played 11 minutes for the Storm in the big one. Now is a Newcastle Knight. And one out against Danny Levi for the starting hooker role. Now Pierce with his first kick. And his kicking game is going to bring so much to the Knights this season. Yeah, I guess Jacob Williamson a little bit upset with Nathan Ross. Big front one rowers want their hands on the ball straight away. Rossi wonder big intent, get involved. But yeah, the, the real swirling breeze down there. Mitchell Pierce's kicking game is all important today. And showed their intent early in the game. That was only the fourth tackle. Mitch Pierce says, let's get out of here. Get down in the Manly's half. Georgie Tafua. That's a test for him in his first game back after the ACL surgery last season. Haven't seen him since June last year. Now Marty Tapao. Cherry Evans was looming. Tapao was the offload king last season. Could he get his arms free that time? Now Jake Trebojevic turning from Newell Blake back inside. We've got some big boys to Manly, and we expect some ball playing from Jake Trebojevic in the number 13 jumper. Now it's Croker with a little kick over the top, and Ponga was set upon. And the referee blows it up for the high shot on the fullback. They were after him. Well, I reckon that'll be in the game plan too. Let's just chip over the top up the short side and put a bit of heat on this young bloke at the back. He takes it beautifully and gets hit over the top for his trouble. Just a little bit high. Penalty warranted. Lucky he's got the headgear on. That helped him because Brian Kelly went in with the haymaker. Yeah, it's his first touch on McDonald Jones Stadium for Caelan Ponga. I definitely remember that one. But there's some brighter times ahead for him. Where are Driven back. And Griffin to Herman Essiesi. One of two Broncos to arrive in Newcastle, along with Tau Tau Moga. Mitch Barnett. First minutes after the shoulder recon. Well, it's been a couple. Daniel Saifidi will come on the back end of the half. There's a penalty for Newcastle Knights. Well, that's a second quick play the ball from Barnett too. That one was inside the 10 metres, but gets to his feet, wins the penalty. Mitchell Pearce will just go for distance here, right, right about the halfway line. I think he's got a bit of a breeze behind him. He'll try and kick this one well down the field. There it is. And not rushed at all. He wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page because this is a big opportunity after back-to-back -back penalties here. It sure is, Brenton. This is what they've all been working for in the... In the preseason, is these good ball shapes. Matout here sets them up. They need to get the set out. No mistakes here. Griffin goes through Connor Watson. Now SES. They've got options from midfield. Right in front of the post. Slow play the ball. Pierce. Ponga. Caelan Ponga! Oh, this kid has such a bright future. And he strikes. Just three and a half minutes into his Newcastle career. Nearly had his head taken off at one end. And he Nothing comes up with the awarded, first try yeah. of the Nothing ninth season. I know I'm a Newcastle Knights fan but and man, but that's mind tingling. To see this guy come here to Newcastle, all the pressure he's under. Okay, General. Tackle two. Try. Want to confirm there's no obstruction? Through to the grounding. Yeah, Ponga. Let's have a look at this. It's right behind big Jakey Littleman. That's Funky, perfect. Can That's you get fine. Mitchell Pierce to hold there. This is Gibbs on the outside of Siren and, and Cherry Evans committed on Fitzgibbon as well. Caelan Pong has caught the ball on the outside of the lead runner and Daily Chair Evans has made a defensive decision. So we're playing through to the grounding. Jake, you're not captain. Don't. And, That's and sweet he as maintains well. possession and grounds the ball. We have a decision. Well, you know what I love? When young blokes make the yeah. decision, I don't care, I'm not going to look on the outside to pass, I'm going to run. And he gets on the outside there yeah. of Curtis Searin and he goes for a legs tackle. There it is. There's the opening try there for the Newcastle Knights. And that young fellow has decided to run the ball, and don't we love it? That's his best attribute block. There's no doubt about that. The way he can move sideways with footwork at speed. A little goose step was enough to get around Searin and... Going back into the kit bag and showing that one again, I'm sure. 
Well, on the back of a couple of penalties, they've done well too. They've completed their first three sets, the Newcastle Knights. Don't you love it when a young fella makes the decision, I'm going to run the ball, and Kira is in front of me. I'm going to score the opener. The 19-year-old, a five-year deal signed, worth around $3 million reportedly, so he left the Cowboys. Jonathan Thurston said, where are you going? Well, I'm about to renegotiate for him. <laughs> He's going to earn a lot of money in his career. And he's also the first choice goal kicker. Can he convert his own try? Ponga trying to bring it back. You bet he can. He is the natural. Let's check in with Megan Barnard. And we've got the mayor to thank, do we, for this crowd? Wow, what a start for Newcastle there. Yeah, would you believe the mayor of Newcastle, she deserves a medal. She asked every boss to give their staff an early mark this afternoon so they could get out to the game. She said if they didn't, it would be un-Australian and not in line with what it means to be a Nova Castrian. And I'll tell you what, judging by that crowd that you can see, I think most complied. It's just electric down here, boys. We must have an election coming up, local <laughs> council. <laughs> They're still streaming in as well to pack this joint out again. Lilliman turned down by Ross. Yeah, he might have a chat too at half time, I'm sure. Big Jacob, the bull Lilliman. He's got the second one. Always runs over 100 plus metres a game in 2017. 250 NRL games behind him. Jacob Lilliman. Another handy pickup. Nathan Brown really has recruited well. It's a matter of how long they take to gel. Well, they scored within the opening four minutes here. Gee, it's a credit to him to be able to sign nine players after getting three wooden spoons. He must be a good talker to get people here. Darren Mooney's had a big role to play there. Both worked really hard together to get this list together. Griffin's service to Pierce, who gets it tumbling. An awkward one for Trebojevic on a swirly evening in the Hunter, but he made it look easy. Tommy Turbo. Both Trebojevic brothers part of that World Cup squad with the Kangaroos that won the trophy late last year. Both looking for Blues appearances this season. Jake was involved last season in the origin, not Tommy Turbo when he had the leg injury. Now to forward a player, Coruscant. Jake Trebojevic moves it on to Tapao, who had the arm free this time, desperate to get the offload away. No touch off at night. Oh, hang on. They're swinging the arms. Look like they were shaping up at one another. That's good work for Mitchell Pierce, staying up on the offload. Vanilla Blake and Pierce it was. And now Cherry Evans. A little gap open. And he may have pushed the pass a little. Not quite in sync with Matty Wright. He would have been straight through if he thinks run. So Wright is the right centre. Now Cherry call? Evans over the top. Trebojevic v Ponga, looked like the Knights fullback was taken out. Referee says no, it'll restart with a line dropout. That's one thing the Seagulls did lose with Blake Green was his all up. short kicking up? game. Clock on. In the hands of Terry Evans. He's tested Kalen Ponga out again. Did he get a fair chance? Deemed so by the referee. Six, six stacks for the Knights. <laughs> Looked like they were sparring for a moment well, they, there. They do that in wrestle practice, or it's ruck control. Where and he went right, right, left. It's called shark <laughs> bait. It was shark bait, you've got to go and try and tackle him, and that's exactly what happened there. He's a big unit. Adam Fanua Blake brings it back now. Starting front rower for the Seagulls, and look at Lilliman spit out the other side. He's got some ticker, but Mitchell Pierce. He said, I'm not going away. <laughs> yeah, Fanua Blake's got so many post contact meters. Watch, he always drags three or four in. Now to Powell. So is this bloke. Runs at Pierce. Good tackle made by Fitzgibbon down low, and then the support came. Slade Griffin getting into it. Trebojevic. Moved on by Croker. Now an opportunity for Kelly. And George into Philip. Welcome back to the NRL. Manly hit back. And that means so much to Georgie. After that ACL ruled him out for the rest of 2017, he's back with a bang. Beautiful play from the Manly Seagulls there. Watch this nice little touch from Jake Trevojevic. Slide of hand. Beautiful play and great line there from Curtis Sirenen. Just weren't doing the same thing together, the right edge of the Knights. Kenny Dowell, he need to come in. Yeah, he's been a player, hasn't he? He can score that close to the line to Fua. Some soft hands, beautifully positioned. Trent Barrett. Obviously, they know how to play. Get on the outside of their opposition. That close to the line. Kenny Dow can't make the tackle on Tafua. 
Just like that, the Manly side hit back. Seventy-one tries in 114 NRL games is a great finisher. Lachlan Croker, as he got the ball, Georgie Tafua had the hand up already. He knew he was going to finish it off. He always does. Yeah, it's good to see him score tries. Good to see him back in the game. Big George never shirks his work. A lot of his work gets done down the other end of the field on play two and getting that ball out. He's a, he's a powerful runner and himself and Aku Uate. So a lot more of those two going one for one. Matty Wright struggling with a groin goal kicking wise so Daly Cherry Evans is the first choice kicker tonight beautiful sideline conversion they both added the extras in this one at six points apiece ten minutes gone and don't forget Super Saturday it all kicks off tomorrow 3.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time the Tigers up against the Roosters from ANZ Kronk and Tedesco with the tricolours Let's not take away from what the involvement Jake Tavojevic had in that play. He mixes his game up beautifully. Nice soft hand. But when he thinks run, he's a powerful runner too. So I like his involvement in that try. Kickoff hung in the air a long time. Fenor Blake puts his hand up again. Darcy Lusick is out for between two and... Four weeks, it appears, with an ankle problem. So, Fenor Blake getting an opportunity from the start alongside this man, Marty Tapao. Jake Trebojevic now out the back to his brother. Tom thought he spotted a little gap there, but it closed just as quickly. Slow play of the ball. Jake Trebojevic again commits his body to the line. And he's going to have the defence in two minds all night, isn't he, with his ball playing ability? To power gets the arm free. Trevojevic was backing up. Decent metres here for Manly. Chance to get an attacking kick away, perhaps. Croker goes along the deck. It was awkward. And then sat up invitingly for Kenny Down. Ponga, there wasn't a lot of room for him. Yeah, you saw the, the threats that Manly possessed there. The offload from Tapao onto Trevojevic. You see that more times tonight. That's a handy penalty there. Been, the Knights. They've been piggybacked out of their own end so, so far in this game. They haven't had to play much football back. down off their own line, the Newcastle Knights. They'll just take their time, organise what's gonna, what play is going to be on now. They're getting plenty of penalties and easy get out of trouble. Got a decent round one record as well, despite their trials and tribulations with all those wooden spoons. They've won 10 of the last 16 opening weekend games, the Knights. Fancy their chances here in front of the parochial home crowd. Moga sets them up on halfway. On the mark here. This is where you would tackle and make sure you're cracking play it down. One. On this. Well, they just said go back and play it on the halfway line. Then they let him steal another metre. What are they doing? Hometown. <laughs> so much for the crackdown. Pierce gets it to Barnett. Bit of footwork at the line as well. That's a good sign for Mitch Barnett, the player of the year for the Knights in 2017. Now, Essie Good momentum, but he's thrust to the turf by Tapao. Pierce, out the back, Ponga keeps it moving. Good pick up from Ross. Has the hunt back inside. Gives him the opportunity, still had a tackle up their sleeve. Good discipline shown by the winger. Griffin to Pierce. Crossfield kick. Looking for Kenny Dow to go upstairs. It's knocked on by Georgie Tafua. They'll get another set. Look, the Knights last year, inside the 20 metre zone, of any team they came up against, they had the least possession of any team. On the back of poor kicks, not being under control, they'll play five kick. There's pinpoint from Mitchell. Just toss it up there. You never know what's going to happen. Another set of six for the Newcastle Knights. Well, it's tough for the defending side, too, just standing there flat-footed to fill up. Not the tallest man. That would have been in the game plan, too, for Mitchell Pearce. Pick him out, the crossfield kick. Kenny Dow with the chase through. They get the football back. Ten metres out. Let's see what the backs can come up with here. Griffin gets it out to Connor Watson. Another of the former Roosters. Sign a lengthy deal with the Knights. Deferred to Brock Lamb from the start in the sixth jumper. Lilliman just backs his way. Griffin for Pierce. 
Fitzgibbon lost control. Or rather, Guerra. I don't expect that from Aidan Guerra with all his experience. Well, they've got a great understanding too. Always plays a lot on the inside shoulder there, Guerra. Just might have got caught a little bit flat that time. Nice confidence playing Lockie Croker. Put his shoulder right into the rib there. Came up trumps. He's a good man to be working with. Big Joel Thompson on that left edge. A milestone night for both coaches. 200th game in the NRL for Nathan Brown and his former club teammate Trent Barrett brings up 50 in charge of the Sea Eagles. To Fua. Opening 15 minutes has flown by here in Newcastle. Suspicion of a high shot, high shot there on Jake Trebojevic. Referees let it go. Now Uwate, first time he's played in opposition colours at this joint. Trebojevic, Fanua Blank, Croker, Joel Thompson gets it out the back to Croker again. He's made a rock solid start in his second NRL game, Lachlan Croker. The nephew of Jason Croker, I know he's here today. Great Canberra, great. With Brett Mullins and Luke DeVico. Coruscant. Cherry Evans again goes high. Ross camped underneath it. Then Uate came. He got there and had an opportunity too. He coughed it up. And the home fans appreciated that from the man they used to cheer to a club record 110 tries. And they've compounded a little error there, giving away the penalty. Well, he's got him for a face rub. That's a silly penalty. They're good mates. Mitchell Pierce comes up with the ball. It's young Ciro over the top. Look at him. Give me a little bit of a rub over the top. Okay. <laughs> just staying in one ref on another run. Yeah, 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 mate. Hardly worth a penalty. Wow. Are they going to be, they gonna be consistent with that all year? Line oh, no, some penalties. That's another one. That's three in a row for the Knights. Coming out of trouble. Three Manly players in on the tackle. Lilliman plays it. Now Barnett, he's met solidly as well. Manly really muscling up here. After giving away their fair share of penalty and penalties in the opening exchanges. Here's Guerra out on that right edge. We were used to seeing Fitzgibbon there last year, but he's made the switch out to the left edge as Fitzgibbon. Pierce wanted to get the kick away. Midway through the tackle count. Trevojevic was waiting for it. Decent field position here for Manly. Back of a penalty, it's not really well done by the Knights. Nice game, kicked early, but Mitchell didn't get enough per purchase on that ball there. The ruck for both teams has been very good. Both teams are pretty even here, they're winning it. Pretty clean ruck for both teams. Sirenet. Now, Jake Trebojevic, he had to power running in support. They wanted a forward pass, doesn't matter, it's been coughed up anyway. Well, that's the thing, Newcastle tonight's defence on the right-hand side that time made the decision to get up in their face. That's why they forced you, not standing back, waiting for him to come to them. They were the best in the comp last year. Had the least errors, Manly. Maybe a costly one there after they had decent field position. Now Ponga, the elusive Kalen Ponga, who scored the Knights first try. Ross into dummy half. Pierce moves it on to his halves partner in Connor Watson. Griffin. Here's Essie Essie. And that fits given looming in support. She's been good up front. Workaholic. They go down the short side through Ponga. Took the line on as well. Was that played out? Referee says no. Hand over. Kicked, it's good to have a left field kicker there and the shape of with his left foot. Just put on the ground. Takes the option off the main kicker, Mitchell Pierce. And lucky not to get that one through. Only good enough to stop that trap that. Come away with about 15 minutes out. Iwate scored two tries against the Knights in his only game against them. That was last season. Controversial one as well. That Separated the two teams, you may remember. Awarded the try in the corner. Replays showed later that he'd lost the ball. Should have been sent upstairs. Hopefully no controversy to report tonight. He scored 110 tries for the Knights, Speedy. 
That was his most crucial one, I think. <laughs> he gets them. Now Croker. Chance for the attacking kick on the last. Cherry Evans, shape back inside, goes along the deck. Ponga trying to shepherd it down. He took a big risk, but he summed it up perfectly. It was grounded after it had crossed the dead ball line. Well, they have to have a look at it. They know what they're doing about. Well, they wanted the quick restart with the yeah. seven tackle set okay. blocker. Because the referee well, said it was dead originally. General, got no try. Just confirm that there's no escort on the manly. I've, I've got no try on the grounding. That's why they're reviewing it. Casey Badger thought she We've seen Manly's left side ball. kick chase. We're happy there's no interference in the kick chase and the ball has gone dead. I'll, co I'll come we through, Funk. So we have a decision. Up. Where would you like to be a fullback at the back? Just go, please, please, please. Just one more bounce. And bounce and roll, bounce and roll. If you're 19, you're not too worried. A lot of confidence at 19. Learn a lesson now. I think Kalen's got to be careful of that. A lot of confidence shown, understanding what that ball can do. And you see some freakish finishes in that situation, don't you? You sure do. So good. These, these players these days with, with the line, they know exactly where it is. So now the seven tackle set begins. Both wingers with the first couple of hit ups. Now. The prop gets involved, there's he, yes, he felt that contact with the young Kiwi from his countryman for Noah Blake over the top. Lilliman, a little work in the ruck. Here's the Guerra. Roosters combos everywhere you look. Griffin takes on for Noah Blake out of dummy half, links with Watson. Driven towards touch, but safely inside. Again, it's a slow play, the ball. Get it to Pierce to go to the heavens once more. Drags it across towards Moga. And Yuvato beautifully summed up in flight by the former man. One thing that would be really pleasing Nathan Brown is their completion rate. Leg the 10th completion out of 11. They're winning the possession 53% for 47 for the Knights. Last year, they could hardly win possession. Okay, funky. I'll come through. Well, they haven't tried anything too hard, have they? They've just been happy just to, just to play that middle third of the field and try and make plenty of yardage. They're going set for set at the moment, both sides. So it's been a good contest so far. The Manly fans watching on Fox League will be delighted to see their first penalty <laughs> yeah. of the evening. There's been four the other way. They get some help out of their own red zone. Yeah, giving them away on play one. It's not a big concern for the Knights, but very handy for the Manly Seagulls. Fresh legs out there already. Kelopi Tanganoa. Watch this kid go. A strong unit, strongest at the club. Bench pressing a lazy 185 kicks. Tanganoa. And here's another penalty. Not quick tappable for Coruscant. I was still signalling. I was still signalling. I could have been positioned as well. Just what, sitting up high watching what Jake Dvorich is doing to the defensive line of the Knights. Holding it out with two hands. They just don't know what to do exactly. So he's got no pressure coming on him from the inside. And players never know when they can quick tap or when they can't. Coruscant thought he tapped that on the mark. And then the ref they all went to the referee and the ref said, no, I wasn't in position. So... They were under the post because the Knights had clocked off. You see Tavoyevich, Tom, the fullback, just sniffed it out straight away. Yeah. Great anticipation. Go. They start from 20 out instead. For Noah Blake. Look at him drive through Barnett. Now, Tanganoa, a real handful. Strong man. Joined the club late last year. Second game as a Sea Eagle. Now Croker for Noah Blake. What a work rate. They slow him down. That'll do for the Knights right now. Still under the pump though. Jake Trubojevic. Now to Croker. Oh, high shot. Was it by Pierce on Sirenin? Nothing untoward spotted. Now Coruscant service for Croker. Hit as he passed. Still found his mark. Now Kelly tries to put the footwork on, spits out the back. 
No restart for the tackle count for Georgie Tafua. Will set them up on the last, right in front of the post. Horace out. Jake Trebojevic, a little dummy on the outside. Can he get the offload away? No. They wrap him up beautifully. Well done. There's a few questions thrown at the Knights' defence, but they're all working hard from the inside, working together. And they did throw a bit at them. So I feel a little bit of a confidence win there for them. They can get this set out. This is what you need with the pack that Manly have got out there. If they've got the ball, it's dangerous, but they need to really completely set the Newcastle Knights and get down the other end. Well, this is where you earn your money too when you're caught on your own line. <laughs> Running the ball up straight away. Who puts their hand up? Some big boys out there for the Seagulls at the minute. Had the worst defence in the comp last season. Conceded the most run metres as well. But as you say, Danny, that was a great sign for the New Look Knights to hold up on that occasion. And they have worked it out solidly on the opening tackles here. The trademark headgear of Jamie Bura playing against Manly for the first time. Missed out last year due to the broken foot. And Uate hunting crossfield, giving up some metres, and he's picked off inside the 20. And Daniel Safidi's out there as well, coming off his shoulder. Operation a little bit short, caught short in the trial against the Eagles, against the Eels, and you now he's up, up for a big game here today. And his brother Jacob missed out on the 17 for round one. Here's Sean Lane. He's done well to work his way into Manley's first choice 17 to start the season. The former Bulldog now up the middle. It was on. That looked like it went forward, and they got the tip from the touch here, I believe. Oh, that's a good Tommy. Play. Good play. Boyevich not able to continue. It's unlucky that pass was high. That's how they're going to get the Knights. Just a bit high into Croker. I think he was nearly going to go the second man play there. Yeah. The ball just hit flat straight away. Nearly another turnover. I'll tell you what, but it's been good defence here for the Newcastle Knights. As you said, up the other end on their try line, on their goal line has been good, but just around the middle of the park too is where Manly are very dangerous. They've stayed alive back on the other side of the run. What you see is a lot of conversations, like a little, little conversations to each other. You don't have to talk loud, but you have to talk to the person next to you. And you can see that happening both in attack and defence. Lots of the player. Boys, another change there for the Knights. Uh, Chris Huntington just coming off, which I believe at 36 years of age is the oldest player to make his debut. Uh, for the Knights, that's ahead of Craig Gow, who was 35, Anthony uh, Tupu, who was 34. A Premiership winner at both his previous clubs as well, Huntington getting involved here, and that's a sloppy start. Looked like a forward pass, but they say play off. That's a bonus for the Knights. Now Moga sending Ross back inside. in the tackle count. They're inside the 10 once more. They've had plenty of ball in this part of the field. Oh, Pierce took the line on, and he's regretting it now. He's a player, Jake Dvojevic. Smashed it. Now Ponga, a trademark little move from Kalen Ponga. Won't be able to get the ball away here, and Manley's defence stands up. I'll tell you what I would be doing if I was Newcastle. Moga, I'd be getting him some early ball. He's a power pack. Played 29 straight games the Broncos last year, Moga. Needs early ball blocker, exactly right there. Need to get him into the game a little bit more. Talking about shoulder, Rico's, he's another one. they got three Knights out there who've come off shoulder reconstructions in the off-season. It's credit to the staff. They had 38 players to pick, pick from this for both grades in their reserve grade and first grade. So they've had a good pre-season through injury-wise. Getting the operations done and getting them back ready. Now Lane. Able to get the offload away. Kerry Evans back the other way. Horace out. And now Thompson to fill it straight through. And they just held on long enough for the support to come. Trademark stuff from Slade Griffin. Holding on with the right hand. Now Cherry Evans has a hunt down that side. Love it when he thinks run. Cherry Evans. It's left to Croker to kick. It's a handy one, too. Here comes Trebojevic. Oh, Ponga. It's another miracle from the teenager. 
had two cracks at it, and they'll say the first takeoff point was in the field of play. So it's going to be a dropout, I believe. I think what they're saying is that Tavoyevic, Tom, get a hand on the ball as he leapt in the air. It's interesting to see the, the replay. Here he is. Well, that's a knock on in the conga. Yep, so. Knock off of Manly. What a great tactic. Knock on. Knock on off Manly. Oh, how good is it? They've got Field a play. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's talk about that tactic. Well coached from Trent Barrett there. Just standing Palmer still. Yeah. Against a 6 4. Make sure you Tommy T in. just coming down on you. Every chance of getting that. Square here, guys. So a tip off from the bunker there, as you say, Blocker. They get the call right. The on field decision was going to be dropout for the Knights. Instead, they can work their way out. And they're for Sierra, too. I think it's Kenny Dow. He's trying to come in the middle of the field and make a run. Some good, hard contact from the Manly side. They've won the football back. And he's come in looking for some work because it's been pretty quiet for him attacking wise out on that right wing and he's coughed it up here. Well, this is what you took. You're doing all those preseason training drills, defensive drills. They're under the pump right now, the Knights. They can come up trumps here. Really relieved Sean Kenny down out on that right wing. Nobody's middleman can do a bit of a job for him. What an opportunity for Manly, though. After falling behind to the early try, they can take the lead here, potentially. Sierra and he coughs it up. Can you believe it? On the first tackle, he can't. What a mistake. Come on, Sean Kenny. Come in, mate. <laughs> get excited. Still shaking his head. He needs to get his hands on the ball now. A little bit of fatigue stepping in there for Ciro. He should have swallowed that one. Just thinking what he's going to do with the ball on the outside before he actually catches it. Let's have a look. It's a perfect pass on his chest. Just loses it. Just deciding the pass. Ball slips out of his hand. It's an opportunity gone there for Trent Barrett and his coaching staff. They know that. Deep breath time for Trent Barrett. What about the action coming your way from the West tomorrow? A double header from the new Perth Stadium. Looking forward to this one. Yvonne Sampson will be over there hosting our coverage on Fox League. It all kicks off. Rabbitohs against the Warriors. And then the Storm, the reigning premiers against the Bulldogs. Looking forward to that. A triple header all told on Fox League on Saturday, including the two from Perth. Well, Lane, it is this time, too, just uh, hanging on to you there. Had a lot of piggybacks off their own line, haven't they, the Newcastle Knights? Both sides starting to get a little bit frustrated. Six points all. Both sides have created plenty of opportunities. They're starting to tick that scoreboard over now. Five penalties to two in favour of the home team. Second ball on the field here, briefly. Tautier, now they can go. Saifidi. What a massive presence for the Knights to bring off the bench. Now Fitzgibbon, rare touch for him. Griffin. Pierce, runners in motion. He had options there. It looked like it was going to Bura, and Guerra wound up getting it. Now Pierce. Kelly came out of the line. He had to stop Pierce, otherwise there was an overlap being created. Now Griffin out of dummy half. Hits and spins. And the former Melbourne Storm man, the Premiership winner from 2017, puts the Knights back in front. Well, I don't reckon the Melbourne Storm would have wanted to let this kid go. It's been a great pickup. although the young Levi's a good player. This place got a bit of solidarity about him in the middle of the ruck. He saw that they all marked up on the left-hand side, went back against the grain, spins out of the tackle, and that's a tough try. Yeah. Finally, we see number two try here for the Newcastle Knights, and it's Slade Griffin that gets across the strike. Really good technique from Slade. Get down low and then just pick a shoulder and spin. Really nice play. Don't worry about his attack. It's been really handy, but defensively, done so much around the ruck. Deserves that try. Well under Slade Griffin. And this was the big selection choice for the Knights this week. Danny Levi played so much footy last season. Nathan Brown says, sorry, with the new concussion protocol and all that, the HIA potential, we can only go with one hooker, and we're going with this guy over Levi. Well, the cohesion of putting a player that's played a majority of last year, or 26 games for the club last year, and Danny Levi, to take him out of the spine, which is already unfamiliar with each other, 
There's a big play from Nathan Brown in, but he knows what this guy brings. He's very happy with what he's, I'm sure, putting out there. Well, he's, been taught, he's been taught well. He's been taught how to play tough. The right way for the game. And Ponga adds the extras, a six-point margin in favour of the Knights. Danny Badiris was a little sloppy back in the day. It took him two games to get his first try as a hooker with the Knights. This guy's beating you to the punch. Oh, a couple of guys look really good in their jer these jerseys. Don't they look really good, the heritage jerseys of the Newcastle Knights? And it really suits him well, Slade Griffin. Set himself up for a nice career here in 2017 and hopefully on onwards and upwards from there. He's got some Warwick Farms on him. <laughs> sure he trains hard block. Girls for the girls. <laughs> That's a big, big seven minutes coming up for both teams. I think there's some more points on offer. Well, they've done well, Newcastle, haven't they? Scored first and then scored, well, virtually on the stroke of half time. Ross gives it to Saifidi. He was shouting a bit louder than Milliman earlier in the game, obviously. Good option to give the ball from Nathan Ross there. <laughs> Now he's hunting around for a little scoop from dummy half is the Ross Dock. Picks up some metres too. You know the good thing about Newcastle's performance here in the first half? They haven't complicated things. They haven't tried to overplay their hand. Just getting through their sets, getting down the other end. They're doing well. Now Bure. Co-captain of the Knights. Former Seag and more than 100 games for that premiership winner as well. Pierce's kick is delightful. At this stage of the game, right into the corner, and you can hear the rise out of the Knights fans. The old teams have some sort of set which they like to complete after points. I don't know it's called a gold set or whatever. The idea is to get down there and he's reward his team. He's reward his team with a minute break after what he's probably thinking is a really good half from his team. And he led our stats in long kicking last season. There's the legend himself, Wayne Junior Pierce. What a tough hombre he was. <laughs> Former teammate of yours, of course. And you mentioned the young guns earlier going out at Siren and, and Pierce head to head out here at McDonald Jones earlier. To Fua. Inside the final six minutes of an absorbing what first half. On side. See, up here. Got to make sure your, your guys are on side. Been a lot of play one and play two penalties here today. Teams are really getting their numbers in and trying to slow the ruck down because it's been very quick. The ruck's been quick and real constant. Made for a pretty good spectacle. That's one of the better touch finders so far from all those penalties in this first half. Well, Lane met by Saifidi, but good enough to get the offload away. To Jake Trebojevic. Got him Hogwarts. down twice in the one tackle. Now Coruscant. Nice little move. You can't leave one marker with Arpi Coruscant. Bit of a mistake from the Knights there, but always have two markers. Now Lane. He's been good this kid since he's come on. Got to have an impact when you come off the bench. He's certainly done that. 198 centimetres of him as well. Now Croker. Cherry Evans. Oh, Moga. Went a little high. They're OK with it. Maybe off again. the ball. No signal of six again, but Cherry Evans looking to make the most of it. Coruscant has Croker to his right. Another He's penalty. Starting to He's even up that count. Jamie, Jamie, goal line. Back, back. Right, Chris, a, Chris. right idea from Moga. See you come in and jam in. Ross is doing the same thing. Wait, Chris. So that continues for the rest of the match. Wait, wait, go. Gotta hang on here, Newcastle. Tanganoa to play. Boris out. Sean Lane. And he cap off a tidy little cameo. Four in on the tackle. They eventually drove him back just in time. Now Chorus out. Here comes Georgie Tafua hunting up the middle. No, 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 Tried no, no. to slam no, no, no. it down whoa, right whoa, next whoa, to the whoa. post. It can't be a try because it's a double movement. Jamie Bure is offside. It can't be a try because it's a double movement. Jamie Bure is offside. There's the explanation. So another penalty for Manly. Big Georgie coming in centre field. Beautiful play there. Little cross from, with Coruscant. Did you see how they all lined up to the right side? It looked like they were going to go for a big shift. Good set play there from Manly. 
Will this spell of possession be a major factor here in the closing stages of the first half? Coruscant, Jake Trebojevic takes them on up the middle. Newcastle standing up for now. They're short on the right, the Knights. They're heading that way. Plenty of numbers for Manly. Sean Lane is over right next to the post. All that possession amounts to points for Manly. And we're going to be level again in a moment. Sione Mattelli was screaming at his team. Come across. But his middleman just didn't adjust. Really good work from Arpi Coruscant. Eyes up play. Why wouldn't you hit big Sean Lane? He'd fall over from there. Well, he fell over from 10 metres out. How tall is he? Just stretched out over the line. Looked like they were going to go for the big shift again. One-on-one -on -one defender. Legs tackle. Close to the line. Not a go. Stretches out from 25 metres out. And slams <laughs> the football down. Just look at the eyes and selling deception from Arpi Coruscant. It would be nice to get that on some vision. He's just got a lot of selling deception. He's posing some questions in and around there. Especially when you've got a big man like that running. Hard and direct. Especially on the back of some possession as well. There's always going to be some more points. And he wanted to score as well by taking that option because just going through the hands, he's probably going to score as well out wide. Yeah, there was. They were really short the Knights on that right edge. So a straightforward conversion coming up for DCE. And it is all locked up at 12 apiece. 198 centimetres. Sean Lane. The former Bulldog who really played well in the trial against the Roosters and demanded selection in round one. He's always had the potential, Sean Lane. Went over to the Warriors for a few years and just never hit the mark. What's that in the real money? Six foot what? Getting up towards six? seven. seven. Six, six and seven, seven. Yeah. 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 So throwing the offloading ability himself. Marty to Powell, Adam Fennell Blake. There's a lot of questions. I wonder Tommy Javoy, which is hanging around the middle there. It was a bit of a tipster's nightmare, this one. The Knights against Manly in round one. Not sure which way to go. And the tipping cops around the country. And it's nothing to split them. Ticking down towards half-time. Lane puts his hand up again. And good metres after contact. This is something you're worried about from a Knights perspective, Dan. Yeah, you've got to work hard. That's where you see players coming in spearing at the legs. Try and chop the legs out. They're all working hard, the Knights players, but relentless pressure from the from the Manly team. Coruscant showed it to Thompson. Had a little dart himself. Oh, and then he lost it. Bura was working hard, and Coruscant with not too many complaints. Here's an opportunity for the Knights before the break. You can see Mitchell Pearce has been working on his field goals in the preseason. Nice to have a little snap at one. Pretty important for him to finish off the half well, too. Just going with a bit of confidence, Newcastle. I'll probably have the last bite. Let's see if the Knights can work to this left sort of scrum line. Do you think that's the mindset now? The one over going for a try on a full set here? I think the one, because of the game it is, it's going to be a real close finish. One point if you can get it. Why not take it? I'd rather be ahead half time. Let's see how they do work it. Ponga. One on one, Jerry Evans stands up. Griffin will get the big men involved, and they do work at centre field. Still plenty of time. They can get through the full set if they want to. Pierce, now they put the set play on. Watson. Bura almost got into an awkward situation there as the lead runner. No damage done. They come back to the posts again. Pierce, oh, it's given. Forward is the call, so they won't be able to take the lead before half-time. Now, that's the run I was looking for Fitzgibbon to make. I seen him play a few games last year. He hits the hole pretty nicely. A little bit Boyd Cordner in that sort of run there. Pierce goes right to the line. Yeah, it's a shame that was not half a yard. They've explored. You guys once explored a couple of edges there with their shots. And slip one back and then drive one through for a field goal would have been handy. I like that Fitzgibbon one-on-one -on -one there. Power runner needs to get involved in the game a little bit more. Knights fans thought that was a little harsh, but it is the final moment of the first 40. The forward pass ruling against Mitchell Pierce at the break. Nothing to split these two teams. It's 12 apiece. And it is Kalen Ponga who's going to get the second half underway. The Knights being cheered on by this massive crowd for the opening game in our Friday night double header. Thurston's 300th to come after this, but the second half should be absorbing, boys. 
sure is, Speedy. I think there's a lot of another 200 metres conceded. Uh, the Newcastle Knights conceded another 200 metres more than Manly, and uh, that's why their edges look a little bit frail at times. So they need to stiffen that up so their edges then look really structurally st uh, really strong. Tafua in off the wing. Always good metres from George. Corusau. Tanganoa. But it's hard when you've got players running like that with so much leg speed. He's a player, Tanganoa. So Smells strong. like. Now, flat pass for Croker. Turns it back inside. They were waiting for Jake Trebojevic. Three of them. He almost coughed it up. He did well to hold on. Oh, Cherry Evans left it behind, and that is a knock on. I'd like to see the manly side when they've got the football. They've made so much yardage after contact, as Nathan Brown had said, just to stick in the middle a little bit more. The edges will open up. If you go wide too early, there's the mistake by Cherry Evans to start the second half. Not a good start, but they'll, they'll get confidence out of that. Good all, defensive set from Newcastle. All Manly's kicks have been short. They haven't had to do one long kick on the back of the go forward from their big men. So it's one thing Newcastle can do is really try and disrupt Daly Cherry Evans with his kicks. Go hard at him. Some frustration let out with that tackle by DCE. Now Ponga and Cherry Evans has to hold on again one-on-one. -on -one. It'd be a nightmare three-on-three -on, -three on a short side. Callum Pong with about 30 metres. Three options for him. Griffin has a go out of dummy half. Some momentum off the back of DCE's mistake here. Ponga gets into first receiver, moves it on to Pierce. Now Watson, the halves combined. Quiet in that first 40, though, Connor Watson. Guerra. Hyington rumbles forward. Holding onto the ball was Horace out and holding him up. Pierce goes through the hands to Ponga. Fitzgibbon. And Manley hold on again. Wonderful defence. They numbered up that time. Well, it could have been a little bit better. They could have got to their kick and got in the in-goal there and try and force the repeat, but not a bad result there. Something a little bit different. Ponga coming into the game again. The turnover on their line. Here they come, Manly. Well, if you're going to run it, you've got to back it up with a good defensive set. So this needs to be a good one. Get on that front foot. Get off your line. Tafua again. First try scorer for Manly tonight. Matty Wright doing that right centre role. Dylan Walker still a few weeks away after his off-season injury concern. Good offload, popped out the back. By Lane, not too many metres to gain off the back of it, though, as Coruscant is tackled. Trevojevic got into the dummy half. Now Croker showing it and still going Lachlan Croker. Tries to spit it out the back and Newcastle have it back. Good awareness on the deck shown. And Connor Watson snaffled it. So many games last year, the Newcastle Knights were leading at half-time. And they went on to lose about eight of those matches when leading at half-time. So this period after the half-time, 10, 15 minutes, crucial. I'm sure they would have repeated that and spoke about that at half-time. Well, he'd done all the hard stuff, didn't he, Lachlan Croker? He didn't need to force the ball after he'd made a half a break. Get to your feet and play it. Ponger again. Faced up to Cherry Evans, and he's so elusive. I didn't appreciate the treatment from Siren in there, and the penalty is blown yeah, in the end. Here, Marcus Extra, effort. Effort. Extra effort. Yeah, Kaylin, Marcus here. That's exactly what it has been against Ponger all night. Extra effort. They really have targeted him. Yeah, he's got alert. Uh, trying to throw him off his game. He's got a little bit more physical with him. I like it when he's fighting in the play the ball, too. You win penalties. That's the key. Make, it, make it look like you're trying to get to your feet. What an impression he is making. His 10th game in the NRL. His only game against the Knights last season. He was the man of the match with two tries. Just to show Knights fans what to expect. Well, what, what about the pressure coming into the game? His club, his new club. Who cares? These young blokes don't care, do they? <laughs> Logan to play at 20 out. It's a slow one again. Griffin bang for a penalty. Knights beginning to take over at McDonald Jones Stadium. On a great night for footy. In every respect. Now Pierce. Ponga gets around one tackle. Steps back inside. So light on his feet. Halen Ponga. Now Griffin. Bure up. Short ball. Hyington 
trying to get an offload away to make sure they wrap it up over the top, Wayne and company. Now, Watson, flat pass for Guerra. Again, Manly, their defence impressive. Can they hold on here on the last? Watson, long pass to Pierce. Little stab in behind, read by Tommy Turbo. And they had options there as well to Fua. That dropped deep. Well, he had options, Mitchell Pierce. He came up the one he first thought of. That's trying to roll it in the end goal. Popped out the back, which was risky, but Kelly made it work. Sometimes you run the line, you've got so many things going on, and the last minute you change. He's got through, but great positioning from Tommy Trovic. Seems scoop it up with one hand at the back there. Dvojevic <laughs> just runs through the ball, bounces away from him, just throws out an arm. Just brings it back into the thigh and says, away we go. So skillful, both brothers. Now, Jake with support. Last one, Connor Aiden. He could have a big influence late in this contest, Jake Dvojevic, with his ball-playing ability. Not the kick Cherry Evans was after, but it was still awkward for Ross, who did so well to hold on under contact from Wright. That's the man you need to get a little bit more involved. Big Tal Moga. She's back into the field. So that was Connor Watson. There's a block lamb sitting down there. Let's see what Nathan Brown does with that interchange. When he pulls the trigger on that. Yeah, he was a starter in each and every game he played last year in the halves. Brock Lamb now cast in the role of utility player. Griffin, Bura, down the short side. Fitzgibbon was there, keeping the defensive line in two minds. Now it's the last. Pierce kicking to that corner again for Boyevich, favoured by it, though. Not a great chase, not a great kick. And he sees some open pastures here. Trebojevic turns on the turbo and gets Tafua involved. Good field position here. It's a good start for Manly for the set. Gee, it's great when you're a front row and you look up and your fullback's made 30 metres downfield. How good is it? Torresau waits. Proka. Shaw and Lane again. Committing his body to the line. Worked him around, Lachlan. There's the penalty. Oh, yep, play on the quick tap. Allowed to be Don taken King. this time by Coruscant. They've got to roll on now, man. Cherry Evans. See the markers napping a little. Now Tanganoa. What a unit he is. What a run. That sets it up for Manly there. Coruscant service for Jake Trebojevic. On to Croker. Tom Trebojevic over the top. Aquila, the thriller in the corner. The Knights' greatest ever try scorer back to haunt in Newcastle, yeah. or is he? Has he got it down? That's the big thing. OK, no problem. All right, General. We have no try for the grounding. If it's if it's confirmed no try, I've got a penalty for Newcastle offside. So I'll clear that. A penalty for Newcastle or against early. Newcastle? Okay. Well, there we go. Clearly lost. So it should be manly ball anyway. But there is no try for Uate, and that's Ponger again. Brilliant. At least we all. We've all... cleared the contact, and we can see Uquila Uate loses the ball before the try line. We have a decision. Now that's putting your body on the line. The great fullbacks like Slater, they can stop tries as well as score them. That is a great tackle. It's, it's your penalty because they're offside. As you say, that's as good as scoring a try from Young Ponger. Body on the line stuff. Now I know why he wears through. the headgear. <laughs> Attacking the ball with okay, everything. It was a penalty like I verbalised. No try, but you guys are offside. <laughs> because we always play out advantage. They could have scored. I just that. would have penalised straight away. The Aku, he went to get that down with one hand, but he just sort of got line, it with his left hand. He sort of ran across his arm and just dislodged it. He couldn't regather. Usually, usually nails them, and that, especially on that right corner, he scored many try down there. Well, here's the test. They weren't able to hang on back to back in the first half. Newcastle. 
Torres out. Croker. Marty to power back out there. 67 metres in the first half. His first little cameo. Now Jake Trubojevic. Croker. Cherry Evans from deep. Not a lot of support outside him, so Hunt's back the other way. And it nearly opened up. Nice run made by Kelly, but Cherry Evans didn't see an avenue to get it to the boy from Ballina. Coruscant. Tommy Turbo. Thompson scored a hat-trick in the round one encounter last season as a dragon. Right down that left edge, but there's no room on that occasion. Now, out of dummy half goes Kelly. And again, Pong is there showing great strength to drive him back along with Guerra. Jake Trebojevic. It was hard yakka. Great little kick from Tommy Turbo. Trying to squeeze it dead, yeah, and they nice. did in the end at the expense of the line dropout. What about the skill from Tommy there? Picked the ball up around his boot laces and then kicks in the same motion. It's just footy IQ. He's got the smarts, Tommy. Knew exactly what he had, had to happen there and executed it perfectly. It wasn't the best scramble job from Fitzgibbon, but he got it there in the end because Lane was hunting around to get a hand on it, maybe. I love the way he just sniffs around the middle there, Turbo. He wants the agate. Give us the ball. I'm going to do something here. Always in the game. Could have used up another five seconds, but Pierce restarts things. Newcastle trying to dig deep defensively. Manly looking to capitalise on this good spell back to back to back sets Jerry Evans oh solid contact so feeding there to meet Sirenet two big bodies out there on that edge now to power out the back the Trebojevic brothers combine Pass out in front of Kelly. They say forward, but it's not given, and Kelly is over. I've got to try. Celebrations for Manly. Yeah. And Brian Kelly, Coming there'll be no gentlemen. second year syndrome for try. this kid, you don't think. Confirm Such an impressive, impressive play. And the weight of possession has told. See so if he gets this down, Brian Kelly. Looks to be the green light. Back in the day, that will be a try. To Brian Kelly shows a lot of Brian strength Kelly there. Brian Kelly maintains possession and grounds the ball. We have a decision. I tell you, that was wonderful skill too. It looked like he was just going to flick the ball out the back there. Kept, kept the ball in hand somehow. Slams the footy down. Well, two big charges there, block from Jeff Marty to power. Time on. Got the Knights going backwards. Very hard. When you just gather so much momentum in the middle, middle third of the field, some holes out there. The Knights are a little bit passive on their line out here on the right. A lot to deal with. Beautiful offload from Tapao. Isn't it amazing? Just one little flop back and an offload and then shift straight away from it. What can happen? They had the numbers there. Just skill there from Kelly. Just backed off a little bit too much. It's the only Metautia. A little bit of trouble coming. Just need to go forward a little bit more. Half a yard. It's all take some time. And that would have interested Kenny Dow. Maybe would have dragged him out. That's so good. The, what, the ball control from the kid. <laughs> to show it to Tafur and say, no, nah, I'll have it and put it down. Absolutely fantastic. From Kelly, who scored eight tries in his rookie season. Nick Cotrick was the runaway winner of the Rookie of the Year prize, of course. But Kelly was a contender for quite a while. Manly had their first lead. And Cherry Evans can't convert. But they do have the four-point buffer. What about the action coming up on Sunday? The Sunday ticket returns. Jess Yates in the host chair. And the Panthers against the Eels. Jared Hayne on his return. The Hayne playing game number 200, if you don't mind. And then the Titans up against the Raiders. It all kicks off 3.30 p.m. That late game from 6.30. And they fell a little silent around this place, Danny. The home fans have to get behind the Knights again. If you're standing behind the goalpost as a Newcastle Knight, you've just got to think about the possession. It will swing. You've just got to, when you do get the ball, be ready to go again. Because you're sapping a fair bit of juice out of your tank right now. But it will swing. Thompson. 
His grandmother Gloria will be cheering him on. That's the reason he was a Manly fan, because Gloria has been cheering on the Sea Eagles forever. And Thompson was handed his jumper by Steve Menzies. The man he looked up to as a youngster. Ah, the foot. Not playing with the foot, but looks at this. Yeah, picked out the penalty for the Knights. This is something they're cracking down on in season 2018. You must use the ball, uh, the foot when playing the ball. Gee, that's a shocking error too, but you would have been told all off-season, you've got to make some sort of attempt and put your foot on the ball. It's just fatigue. When you get tired, you're starting to forget things. I think he's just come on, big block, adding for Noah. That's what the Knights got to deal with. Pretty handy man to have in the defensive line. See if they can spot him up a little bit. Griffin, Saifidi, running it to Pau. Involved in back-to-back -back tackles there, Marty to Pau. Pierce, back inside for Hyington. Played his 300th against the Knights last year and a narrow win for the Sharks. I now he, Bura. I think he's got to get Brock Lamb on now. Something a little bit different. Griffin, Pierce had to wait. For the service, just a fraction. Gets it back to Griffin, who had no one to pass to, and he was met solidly. Over the top came Coruscant on his opposite number. Pierce back towards the post, and look at the handling again from Tommy Turbo. I was talking about the possession rate swinging, and the Knights need to roll that one in and get another set. But the man at the back, Tommy Trevojevic, just too good. Yeah, it might have rolled in against other fullbacks, but his positioning. And his handling is exceptional. You'd like him in second slip, wouldn't you? <laughs> and first. Now Uate. Trying to get the full head of steam up here, Manly. It's a great play, the ball from the winger. And off the back of that, they're up over halfway. That's consistent, Sveti. It's 50, 60 metres. Ricochet not played at it. Still the last, but Cherry Evans into open space. He looked for support. And Newcastle regroups. Well, with some ad lib defence there. Gee, did well to reload then Mitchell Pearce after the ball had ricocheted off. He had to turn around and chase. Look at that for, com for being a competitor. It's a nice scramble, like I said, like competitive nature there, Mitchell Pearce. That mentality there, he does possess. It's when the rebound comes to Cherry Evans, you think it normally opens up and he finds someone in support, but he looked both ways and no one was there. So the Knights dodge a little bullet there. Four points the difference. Well, the easy way for Mitchell Pierce to give up on that play. Block, I think you're about to get your wish. Brock Lamb is up and about. He's about to go on. I've uh, been watching him throughout this whole game. He's been sitting there patiently, laughing, joking. He's in good spirits. But, boy, I think he'll be ready to go out there and do some damage. And we'll see what the reshuffle means when Lamb does come on. Pierce goes high. Tafua says, that's mine. Takes it safely on the chest. It's been a rock-solid return from Georgie Tafua. Those little things from Guerra go unnoticed. Don't go unnoticed to his teammates and coaching staff. I think last year he was the first man to tackle on kick chase. Always there. Always there for trying to go against the fullback. Locks up the middle all the time. Guerra one-on-one, -on -one, essentially, with Thompson. Saifidi Lin, a little bit of support. Now to Powell, almost through the other side. Wonderful offload from the offload king. Likewise, Dravojevic and Watson. A high shot on his opposite number. Not a quick one now. And they have glanced Still over down. and see Brock Lamb about to come on and wondering what that means for Connor Watson. Well, and he went high on Croker. The difference in this game so far in the second half is Marty DePau. He would have been disappointed in his first half with only 67 metres. That's enough for anyone else, but not for him. He's a handful. Yeah, if you're not, not scoreboard watching, you're not looking at the scoreboard, you're looking at the performance here and you'd say Manly are well on top. It's a worrying sign for the Knights. And to really block this middle up, work hard for each other, stand shoulder to shoulder. Then comes a fresh reserve in Hammond Essie. That will be his role. Leg speed for big men, that's the way the game's gone now. So Griffin has made way, along with Bura. So Connor Watson just getting some instructions after Brock, Brock Lamb's arrival. He's taking off his two hookers, so let's say Watson's got to be playing in the nine position. Manly inside the red zone. Chance to extend their lead here to Powell again. He's racking up the metres in this second 40. Driven back, though. 
Strong word by Fitzgibbon. Now, Fanua Blake sets them up. They've got options now. Coruscant surveys them. Comes to Croker. Out the back, Trebojevic. How clever was that to bat it on and find his mark in Tafua? This left edge is having so much joy, and he nearly got there, did Georgie? Tackle four. After all of that, did he get there? General, we've got no try held up. I but can you also have a look at potential drivers coming in? I think we heard the referee they say held up. Yep. Before he even started to fight to get the football down. And the drivers as well. So that's other teammates getting involved here. Jake Trebojevic, what happens when he comes in? Again, it's Ponga with the initial hold-up. He's stopped a couple of tries tonight, hasn't he? Desperation as well as fine. scoring the first one. He'll never give in to Fuller. <laughs> I'll somehow get this ball down. If I have to lay it, I'll get it down. So Kelly and Jake Trevojevic are late to the party and they try and lend a hand and flip Georgie over to get the ball down. This is the go for the Manly are possessing at the moment. Newcastle Knights in around the ruck to be trying to get in there and come work from the inside. What do you got to do? RP Coruscant. Reviewing a possible driver from Jake Trevojevic here. So, General. I believe if the ball gets to the ground that he may have had an impact there. Referee watching it on the big screen here as they survey it back in the bunker. The ball is getting towards the turf there as Matautia tries to get his body underneath it. Now, this is what I want to do, boys. I want to put a I want to put a timer up. on the bunker. <laughs> tackle four help. You can see it's tackle four. There's insufficient to say the ball has been grounded. We have a decision. Tackle four. Are you with me, boys? This is annoying. It's been half an hour. Big, Make a decision. Big call, though, Block. But yeah, I was just saying before, George. the Knights got to be careful, not take their eyes off Harvey Coruscant. Pull him over, fuck. They're working hard for each other in the middle. So many options there. Look how deep Manly are here. It's the fourth tackle. And they've got so many players lined out to the right. It's heading that way now. Chorus out. Something they've drawn up in the long pre-season. Croker to play it on the last. Cherry Evans down the short side. Tried to hold it up. Lost it instead. And they were trying to hit them quickly with a little counter-attack down that left-hand side. First knock on. May as well take the game on in that situation. You are talking about how deep the Manly team were. And they did come up with a really nice shot there. And doubled up with Daly Cherry Evans coming flipping around. Defended that really well there. Numbered up, bodies in front. Did you see who made the tackle on yep. Cherry Evans? <laughs> and who, who knocked the ball out? Ponga, again. He's going to make a few highlight reels during the week on all the magazine shows on Fox League. See, this is tough here for the Newcastle Knights now because the Manly Ruck men have really taken some energy out of them. It's a hard place to play right now for them. So he's got the possession and this will help. That'll help. Midway through the second for. half, Kenny Dow earns a penalty for offside. It was. That's a good touch finder as well as the Knights finally enjoy some decent field position. First time in a while. We'll see what Lamb possesses here. How's he going to play? Another nice look with Lamb in the team. Played a lot as 5-8 last season. There is Watson in the dummy half roll. Goes to Pierce. It's given to play it for Connor Watson once more. Such a versatile player. Barnett. Pierce. Lamb. A little no look pass to Matautia. Still going. Captain of the club last year at times. The only Matautia. Kenny Dow. The halves combined. Now, Essie who was rock solid in the opening 20 minutes of this game. Back for one more stint. Pierce. Held it up. 
for as long as he could. Barnett tried to poke his way through. What have they got on the last? Newcastle. Watson hitting and spinning. Laughlin Fitzgibbon. He scores, tries for fun out on the edge. Right edge last season, left edge in 2018. And the Knights hit back. Let's go back and play before. That was a peach of a wall for Mitchell Pearce. Really went right to the line. And Connor Watson, what he does, he goes with the flow of the ball, shorten them up. What a target he is there, close to the line. Big lock, he fits given. This is nine to try since he's been up in the top grade. A couple of dead Marines laying around the play the ball there. That was from the quick play the ball straight away from that play before. Watson out of dummy half. Brings Fitzgibbon onto the ball. Seen him score ones like that before. The big fella close to the line. Unstoppable. Six tries in his last six games for a second rower. Some going. Well, he's come on in leaps and bound, young Lockie Fitzgibbon. He can understands now what's about playing first grade week in, week out. Being consistent in all the areas. He loves his part of the field scoring tries, but the next part of his game is just to really tough it out in defence, working the ball off your line, doing all those things that make a week in, week out first grader. He's well on his way. And he puffs the chest out as well to get the NIB sponsorship fully loaded. His dad's the CEO, isn't he? We should have given it the double point. <laughs> That's why that jersey's worth a lot of money. That Newcastle Knights jersey this year. The Heritage jersey. Ponga to put the Knights back in front. No problem at all for the natural, the kid. And the Knights lead once more. 18 points to 16. It's set up beautifully for the final quarter of the game. And don't forget, Friday night footy continues after this. The blockbuster. The Cowboys at home to the Sharks. JT. Back from his injury worries to play game number 300. Should be a cracker, boys. Well, what a player. <laughs> Honestly, it's great to see him get his 300. He's waited a little while with that injury. But look, this is great for Newcastle. 18 points to 16 in front. They haven't been in this game, really. They've hung in. They've hung in this back end of the match, mate, here. But like I said, it's going to swing. Got a good, good momentum right now. Essie, Essie, put on his back. Great first up tackle. One of the three middle forwards for Manly. Nowhere to go down that short side either for Moga. Oof. What about Ross running into a shoulder? And then professionally milks a little penalty to Nathan Ross. Well, it's his job description to run in there with those big boys. It's where you, you spin and try and fight to get up. You're working hard, Rossi. You can't come across the top. Well, that's another thing. Yeah, you're right. You're not allowed to jump over the top you of gotta, players. You've got to roll to the side. Yeah, move away. Because he won that tackle. Nathan Ross and deserved to play quicker. And another penalty coming out of trouble for the Newcastle Knights. They edge back in front. It was eight apiece before that one, so... We've talked about things evening up, and it has throughout the night. It's just where you get the penalty sometimes. You know, they've been really handy ones down there. Sometimes it's not about the count, it's where you get them. Moga gets them to 40 out. Ponga in the first receiver, moves it on to SESI. This time he's got to go forward to take on the big boys. Super impressive, big Herman. Pierce. Out the back to Lamb. Guerra trying to spin his way through. It's been a bit of that from the Knights to score tries. Griffin and Fitzgibbon both spinning their way over. Now Watson to play it. Barnett into dummy half. Lamb shows it. Hunts back infield. They've looked a lot quicker out of dummy half too, haven't they, since Watson's gone in there? That pass wasn't on. Watson pushed it. And the big fella couldn't hold on. You saw the skipper Mitchell Pearce urging Watson to give me the ball. He needed that one. He knew how crucial it was just to get in that in goal and put some more pressure. Although he came away with that error, when the manly forwards are getting a little bit tighter, he's quick out, explosive out of the dummy half. Went for the flat pass to Saifidi, who couldn't hold on. He's Kelly. Going across to the other side of the field. Newcastle might have got away with one there on the second effort. Uwate is such a handful at this stage of the game as well. 
to Powell. Croker showing it. Up over halfway, he had Trebojevic in support. To Powell again, what about his work rate? Offload popped out, Coruscant battled it to Cherry Evans. Trebojevic brother say after you, Claude. Well, Clem nearly got his hand on that. He put it out there, you've got to get it. Six offloads now for Tapao. Cherry Evans, decent weight on this kick. Ponga, though, climbs and takes it safely. What an impressive debut in Knight's colours by the 19-year-old. Always a good option to leave the ground, too. He's done so much running, though, covering for everyone that he's suffering cramp. That's a worry. This doesn't surprise people in his inner sanctum the way he's played. Confident he was here tonight coming into tonight. But the way he's put his body on the line, on the goal line, has been super impressive for all fans. Watson out of dummy half. Got a little roll on here. A couple of back to back dummy half runs. Was that played out? Yes, it's six more for Newcastle. That's a bonus. Little hand in there from Croker. The tackle count effectively restarting now as they go from halfway. Lilliman, good man to bring on and steady the ship. 13, 14 minutes to go. Big Jacob Lilliman. Pierce gets the flat service this time. Showed it to Barnett, who was hunting up on his inside. Which Barnett looks like he wants to have a say in the closing stages here. Watson goes down the short side. Ponga, he's recovered from that cramp issue. Trainer got out to him in a hurry, gave him the pickle juice, and he's right to go again. Pierce. Lamb. Little stab in behind us. Some open space as well to fill up. He'll do well to get out, and he does. Big play, George Defua. Nice kick from Brock Lamb. Just need another little metre on it. He got down well, did a really good job with George. And we talked about... Oh, they do cough it up here, Manly. Newcastle have it. Barnett. Did he get it down for the try? General on tackle zero, got no try. Just wanted to confirm that it is a lost ball, and then he's held up. And we've got Mitch Barnett on zero. So Lamb Jacob getting the, the hand in. There'll be no problem with that. See, Lachlan Croker just loses the ball. safe pick up by Barnett who was celebrating afterwards as though he thought he might have scored the Mitch try. Barnett takes possession of the ball cleanly no try a bit of skill from Barnett the way he picked that ball up on the run what about Kelly's tackle to hold the ball up get up underneath him hold him up Yeah, terrific one-on-one -on -one effort by Brian Kelly to hold up the bigger Barnetts, but that replay has the home fans in reviewing all angles. Is this insufficient evidence to overturn the live decision? We have a decision. I think his arms, his own arms, under the ball. And in no, that try, situation, yeah, he must get the ball down. That's right. To give it a little scrape yeah. on the grass. Mm. Knights fans, after seeing the replay, Wait. thought maybe they might see some green lights. Still got possession and a seven tackle set. Listen to the roar. Essie Essie. Three straight wooden spoons, but such expectation in 2018. Pierce. Guerra. Brock Lamb. They've run a nice line. Yeah, out to win for It's an option there. Watson, long pass to Pierce on to Ponga, cut out ball, Ross, and Manly able to scramble in the end. What a pass it was from Ponga. Gets it again, does the fullback. Asks SESE to straighten things up. Still tackles up their sleeve. Watson says which way, Pierce says let's go to the left. Out the back to Ponga, steps inside, Cherry Evans, unable to stretch out that time. He was close, though. 
final tackle here. Moger into dummy half. Crossfield kick from Pierce. Guerra the target, trying to back his way in. And they're saying it has to be a knock on, and that is the call eventually. It was looming for Guerra, just sat it on the head of Lachlan Croker, as you do with your back rowers. Really good kick. There's been with Lewis Brown and Winnerstein, two players, fresh players for Manly. They haven't been on the field yet. Don't know what the go is with that. Well, what an atmosphere at McDonald Jones. It hasn't felt like this, let's say, for a long, long time. There's a bit of electricity around at the moment. Expectation and some hope. And Ponga won on the football. Well, Ponga's creating a, lot, he's creating a lot of the energy. And Manly hoping he doesn't get his hands on it. Kenny Dowling, the first receiver. Pierce, flat pass. Manly hoping it was forward, but it's play on this time. Watson comes back to SES. Watson, Pierce. Oh, he had his teammates in two minds. And there's the worry. Can they gel this early in the season with all these new faces? Barnett wasn't sure what Pierce was doing. As a complete mix up. Brock Lamb was gets around the back there and the shape the Knights have been running all night. Just couldn't get out the back of that. Mitchell couldn't get the ball out. Barnett gets in the way. They usually run that really tight line. Oh, the big error there. Now Trent Barrett and his team could do with a penalty out of their own red zone. Megan Barnard's tasting what this crowd is all about tonight from close range. How good is it? Oh, it is so good down here. It's electric. They are riding every moment, uh, these Newcastle fans. I've got a crowd number for you. We're hoping for 25,000, even 30, some suggested, but 23,516 is the final amount. And uh, I think uh, all Nova Castrians be pretty happy with that. Ball spits out as well. They're happy with that too. That's a fabulous turnout for an early kickoff on a Friday night. 23 and a half. And they are roaring. Watson slipped out of the tackle and then he lost it. Or is First not going. Yeah, they're going to come back. It'll still be... A... And then Jake Trevojevic chirped. And it's a penalty to Newcastle. Two-point margin right now. So you may as well keep the ball in hand. Keep the pressure on. Stay down here. Some tackles in this opposition 20. I am and I believe, OK? Jake's been talking too much. Just a good halfbacks here. Nine to go. They love this sort of situation now. The good ones will get you home here. Let's see what they draw up this time. Pierce trying to get everyone on the same page. It's a gift there for the Knights, if you really think about it. They've mainly just dished up. Coach Barrett will be disappointed. So the Knights can capitalise. Pierce. He knows what Guerra's going to do and vice versa. Watson. Yes, yes, he got a nice He's little burst of speed, didn't he? He's a coming at a rate of Knights, Big Herman. Now Watson, out of dummy half, takes them on. Brock Lamb says, I better deputise at dummy half. Goes to Pierce. It's on here. Floats one over the top. Moga keeps it going. The Rostov in the corner. They'll go upstairs. He doesn't look too confident. Great scramble there from Manly. That yes. was desperation stuff. Yep. Couldn't yep. get the footy down that time, the Rostov. Coming up to five. No try. Same as what happened down the other end. If it is confirmed, no try. I have a penalty for the offside on the goal line. So the Knights will have possession if... Nathan Ross does not get this one down. He was running out of real estate. Cherry Evans with the desperation. And it will be a penalty to the Knights. Cherry Evans knocks the ball, or knocks the arm that's got the okay. ball in his hand, knocks it out. That's great play. Knowing the Ross dog, he'd be disappointed. Nathan if you know. Ross loses possession of the ball, which contacts the corner post. We have a decision. He's done yeah. that deliberately, Cherry yeah. Evans. We're seeing the evolution the of coaching right now for wingers getting it down in the corner. Suddenly the coaches are saying, just attack the arm. Yeah. Knock it loose with the one-hand put there. Yeah. Ross would be disappointed he didn't have that in his left hand. Yeah. You know, he's that guy that you know, he's got to finish. Time off. 
finish though, but Time would have been a big effort. I'll speak to Daly. Daly. Exact same, exact same thing what happened to you guys. Right, we played no advantage. You were, you were offside early and involved. All right, we interfered. It's a penalty. Same as what you got down that end. No. What else? Feels like it's mounting against oh, them. Go. It's 11-8 right now in favour of the Knights. Because all the penalties are coming flurries. They're coming three and four for each team. So they're coming at the rate of knots. What a possession here. Pierce has plenty of options. Chooses Lamb. Didn't really keep it moving as Manley came up. Umbrella style. Watson has a crack. Spinning his way. And great work by Tom Trebojevic to get down low. Quick play the ball though. Pierce left it behind. It went back, so it's play on for Ponga. Straight through the legs, no knock on against Pierce. Watson. SESE again from a standing start this time. Guerra was hoping to spin and pop it out the back. Again, Manley. Do well to hold on to the ball. Watson, little stabbing behind, and Tafula scrambles. It'll be another set for the Knights. He read it before the kick there. Good play there from Tafua. Coming down the short side again. They're asking plenty of questions. Yeah, they're hitting their back row as always pretty short. Wants we'll to see if they could get a bit of early ball to Sione Metalia. It's right across the front of the lead runner of that back row of Guerra. Just keep running that same play. What about all the tackles in the opposition 20 tonight? Two to one advantage in favour of the Knights. They were the worst in that category last season. It Another helps. good sign for Newcastle. It helps that possession rate, especially where it is down there in that 20 metres zone. Lilliman sets them up. 35 out or so. Barnett. He's got that footwork at the line, doesn't he? Yeah, just poke your nose down, get up and play it. Does really well. Pierce used SES as a decoy that time. Guerra. Gets them to 10 outs. Big line to the left. Messi Essie takes them all on himself. Well, let's get the ball to Morgan. That's what I'd be doing. Now they can go left. Lamb. Barnett up the middle. Trying to use that footwork again. Now it's the last. Watson has to spin it out, but he knocked it on before he picked it up. Handover, Manly ball, and they stood up big time to keep themselves in the contest. Well done, Manly. Sustained pressure from Newcastle. Also sustained pressure from the defence of the Manly Seagulls team. Not a great pick-up by Watson, but a good pick-up by the referee to see that little bobble. It had to go left. Tao Moga, big rampaging centre, hasn't had enough ball tonight. Standing deep, ready to go. Two-point ball game as we approach the final five minutes of this one. Manley trying to play catch-up in the closing stages to power. Spun and met by Sione Matout here. Coruscant, Jake Kravojevic. Good run. Tanganoa forced the offload. Did really well to hold on there, did Kravojevic in support. Now Croker, Thompson, or rather Sirenen. Quick play the ball on the last. Trebojevic, crossfield kick to Fua. The bounce sits up. That's great work and awareness by Matauz here. Hasn't Tanganoa come on and caused the Newcastle Knights a lot of problems? Cheesy's been immense coming off the bench with the Manly team. Watch Manly rev up now off their line. And they're one man down at the moment. The yep. trainer checking on the tout here. I hate that run back to the short side there. It just gives the defensive line a chance to... Well, you wouldn't want the next one. Up. You wouldn't want the next one. He's still down in the hands of a trainer. It's the only Matauti. So the Knights have got to hold on to the ball for as long as they can here. Got to give this man leadership qualities on display for Aiden Guerra tonight. Pierce forced a kick from deep. Ricochet off a manly player. 
And under pressure, that's some take from Cherry Evans with big blokes all around him. And a penalty now. Opportunity knocks to level the scores, perhaps. They've got to have a crack, don't they? Going to give it 30, 39 metres out. Yeah. Always in front from where he was. Dale's he's got to back his own ability here, see if he can reach it. No. He is asking the question about when it is a ball charged down, don't all the players become onside in that situation, but they were inside the 10 already because the kick didn't go too far. Morisol it was who ran the, the charge down. It's just a just a little one percent or a little play, a little effort play. They get the penalty. Cherry Evans points to the posts. But he's not really an out-and-out first-choice kicker, is he? And this is by no means an easy one, trying to level the scores in the closing minutes. He struck his first one beautifully out there on the left. The, second, the last one there, he hooked it pretty hard. So, the perfect position here. Just aiming out the right a little bit. Maybe right post. Clock stops. And the crowd will try and play their part here. DCE, he's heard the boos a few times in his career. Well, if you're a goal kicker, isn't this what you play for? Sure do, mate. It's uh, give it his technique, what he does here under pressure. The success rate, as we saw, is not in the elite category. Cherry Evans strikes it well. The crowd is pretty quiet. Cherry Evans with a clutch moment. We're level with three to go. I love it when they hit the ball like that and they just turn around, you know, straight away after it's left the boot then that's going over. Well, who's the more clutch player here out of DCE and Mitchell Pearce? Oh, it's come down to it, hasn't it? History would suggest that DCE is the Iceman. He does get his team home. He kicks him left foot, right foot, which he's done a couple of times only last year. So we're at 18 all. Was that in Adelaide? Oh, was too. Good memory block. So who can get in the field goal position in the closing stages? Manly had the first opportunity, but there's a long way to go to Powell trying to eat up some metres. How good he been? It's been great. Held on that time. He had the arms free for an offload, and none of his teammates were ready for it. There's fatigue factor here as well. Now Tanganoa. Bouncing off a few tackles. Newcastle holding them up well enough so far to keep them out of field goal range. You know he's got the, the better go forward out of the two teams. And go again on the back of that. Cherry Evans goes high. Ponga has to wait for it. Inside his 10. Good chase from Madden. Nowhere to go for Pong. What about this on the opening Friday night of the season? Late drama coming your way. Are we headed to Golden Point? Or can someone snatch it in the 80? Almost overran him to Kenny Dow, but it gave him some good momentum. Late in the tackle count, still inside their own half. Lilliman tackled on the last. Pierce looking to drive it. He was met solidly after the kick. It's not a 40-20. They're getting excited thinking was Pierce inside the 40. He was outside, you but see, it's up kick. Did you see when he got up off the ground, he had a look there too. Yeah. Straight at the 40-metre line. But what it does do is, is take some precious seconds off that clock. But it is a scrum situation as well. The Manly tries something. Or were they just thinking, let's just go to yeah, Golden Point? Yeah, I think point. Every, both teams be thinking Golden Point right now. But definitely the coaches would be. How are they going to play it out? A bit more space to move when you've got the scrum situation. And when you've got Trebojevic and Uate out there, you could take the game on, but it's a massive risk. It'd be nice for the nice to be leading half-time 13-12. They throw a goal in that range, but they chose to, to run it. to Uate. 
Still a long way away. Golden Point appears to be the favourite now. Coker spins it. Sirenen. Countdown is on. Final 10 seconds of the 80 minutes. Coruscant shows it. Oh, they tried something. And Newcastle have it. Oh, it's not play off for Guerra, who thought he was going to run under the post and become the ultimate hero. Referee said, hang on a minute. There were some knock-ons there from both teams. Let's just go to Golden Point and sort it out there. Full time here after the 80 minutes. So good to watch between the Knights and Manly. It finishes 18 points apiece. Stay with us on Fox League. At least you get a couple of minutes off now. Stefan Breaver, try and organise. What do you think is the best option, Block? Would you rather receive or kick? I receive. I want the ball in my hand. That's the only way I'm going to win. They might put the whistle away so far as the penalties are concerned. We've had a stack of them, but let the players sort it out in goal what? and point. Jeez, what a way for Mitchell Pearce to really come into the town and get his team home and goal and point. Been dreaming of that when he first signed. Great performance round one. He's got every every chance to, to create a huge memory here. And here we go. We're about to find out who is going to kick off and who is going to receive. So it's kangaroo heads. Yeah. If it's a factor at all with the field goal. It's also good to know that you've been running into that, that way for the last 40 minutes. So you've got some familiarity on the points of the field. Is shining. The sun is always shining up here. And they'll be more buoyant if you kick the winning field goal at that end. Frank, That's at the wet end, as you called it. That's right. <laughs> Frank, mineral water up exactly. here too, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and Manly, of course, won all three Golden Point matches they played in 2017. Cherry Evans a major factor there. They won in Perth at the left foot against the Warriors. Amazing. fans happy to cheer on a much more competitive team in 2018 can they finish it off on night one the drama of golden point coming your way on the first friday night footy of the season on fox league got to be careful don't you can't afford to cough it up in your own red zone side Great commitment, Jake Kravojevic down low. Guerra, a little bit of footwork. Kroker did well on the tackle. He's had an impressive debut in manly colours. Goes in again, Barnett gets an offload away. Saifidi straightens things up. Griffin into dummy half, had to search for it, no bobble though, Pierce goes high, hoping for a mistake, Uarte comes across, good safe take. One of those looks that maybe this is going to cause a bit of a problem for Aku, got no trumps there. Well he's the target isn't he, we've seen him drop a few but he did well that time. And communication so tough, Trebojevic and Uarte had to do it with a bit of visual, look at one another and says it's your time to go. to power tries to give them some go forward had the arms free again they're not hunting up with to power they know what ability he has with the offloads there was no one there Sirena tackled on the last wouldn't think they'd have a crack from this far out they go down the short side Cherry Evans with a disciplined approach Ponga can he get away from it what a step 
Alan Ponga taking the game on from his own 10 metre line. I know it's another only five metres, but that's so crucial. All the momentum that would have given Manly if he didn't slip that right foot in there from Alan Ponga. Oh, it's a great start to the set, isn't it? Comes down to desire now. It's definitely advantage Manly at the moment. And Castle Middlemen, he's on hips a little bit. The kick going to be all important at the end of this set, you sense. Essie, Essie. On the last. See so if Mitchell Pearce goes for a 40 20 here. He's outside the 40 again, driving it low. Finds grass, but then Tommy Trebojevic on the first bounce. So he's leaving a bit, Tom. A few players feeling it in round one. Forced to go the extra five minutes, it appears. Hydration's a factor. Yeah, Manly, they'd be pretty confident they can get down this field pretty easy. What they've been doing all night shouldn't change. Remember, golden point, five minutes each way. First score wins. And we're going to see a second half in golden point. Shaping up that way at the moment. Look at the desperation. Everyone doesn't want to go home a loser on night one after all this effort. Boker to Cherry Evans. Shows it to Serena. Links up with Uate. Aquila Uate sets them up. Now Jerry Evans tries to get into position. He takes the away, which says, DCE, are you ready? Steps around one. Jerry Evans slices it. What about the tackle from Saifidi? The young front rower got there somehow. Right there. Right there. He was out towards the right wing and forced the scramble into position to try and get there for the one. And Newcastle got the pressure on, as you said. The markers are good enough there, and it's given a lot of pressure on there. What a bonus, though. It gets them the seven tackle set now, and they've got this field position with a minute 15 or so to go. Mitchell will definitely have a strike here. The Knights have a chance to win this match. Great run. Real momentum here. Eating up the metres, 10 metres on each and every tackle right now. Barnett, the next in line. Backs his way, a couple of bonus metres. They're getting into position. Cherry Evans was just a metre away as that sliced away his field goal attempt. Here we go. Heads up, got another play. Mitchell Pierce for the dream to boo. He's now that. He's got Well, the celebration started. He didn't get it after all. Jeez, he hit it well, didn't he? The arms were up. What's the wet hill doing over there? They were well, cheering, well, weren't they? Jeez, he got it. Nice. Look at them go up. Oh, so inside the 30, second mark late. here. And what about that? From Daly Cherry Evans. He elected to kick it from the 20 metre tap, fine touch, and have this field position. A heads up play from DCE. With 24 seconds left. <laughs> that is gutsy. But why not roll the dice? You've got 24 seconds. We've got another half of five minutes coming up. How well did he hit that ball, Pierce? <laughs> you got to have a word to your boys on the wet hill, though, Dad. <laughs> they went off. And sometimes you've got to rely on that when you're looking at it from this angle. You just <laughs> maybe, maybe you didn't realise it's got to go through the post. <laughs> <laughs> they did get here early. They're probably eight schooners deep. Can Manley set it up for one final crack? To power was the obvious choice. Trying to get that arm free, but there's the call of hell. Cherry Evans hunting around. Is there time for one more tackle? And then go to DCE. Newcastle will try and hold on. They've got to get off him, though. Now it goes to Cherry Evans. Trying to step around everyone. He'll have to hold on now. And we will go to a second half in Golden Point. What a passage. Great play from Cherry Evans on that kick from the 20 metre. 20 metre tap. And then the pressure from the Knights, middlemen. Stop him from going for the one point to ice that game. And Cherry Evans is saying, hang on a minute, how'd they get up on me so quick? He could play a Barnett. He put the pressure on. Here's the play. All or nothing from Cherry Evans. Gave them half a chance, but they couldn't get the field goal attempt away second time around. There's Barnett there. That's an effort. Yeah. He gets it, Block. He gets the mentality needed, especially in tight games. 
Newcastle haven't won a golden point game in a decade. Against Manly, 2008, the last time they won in the extra period. There is, well, a, there is a lot of history when you go back through the, the archives of our great, great game. The history between Manly and Newcastle, more than the 97, which has voted the best memory of the Newcastle fans during the week. The 97 Grand Final. Matty John Show doing a little feature as well with the Chief and Spud Carroll used to come together in these encounters as well. So Ponga with a shortish kickoff. That's the second period of Golden Point underway. Oh! Kalepi Tanganoa with no thoughts of self-preservation. He ran straight at Mitch Parnett who said, I don't fancy this one. He's feeling the effects. He's hurt his rocky bowler too. Give him a point each. This would be cruel if some team goes home with nothing. And Fenua Blake off the end of it. Trebojevic, look at the metres here for Manly. Up over halfway, midway through the tackle count. Shirinen picks up another 10. And they get a shot away at the end of all this. Tom Trebojevic with the go forward. Cherry Evans to the right. Coruscant finds him. Snapshot. Great pressure put on Barnett, who's stretching out the cramp afterwards. Slade Griffin was there as well. Two years ago, DCE did that to the Knights. At Manly at Brookvale, exactly the same spot, probably a little bit further back. He likes that position. Jonathan Thurston's 300th is being delayed. We won't miss kickoff in that one. They are standing by for the th thrilling finish here. Fox League doubleheader coming your way. You won't miss any of the action from up north. Fitzgibbon now. Will they be forced to settle for a point each? Or can someone find the late winner? Griffin. Highington. Plenty of experience out there for the Newcastle Knights. Barnett recovered from that shock of Tanganoa's run. Well, we know Mitchell's hitting them well. From 40 metres away. Gets rid of one. Says let's have a go through the Rostock. Uate left it for Ross out the back. It was another set of six. He put it on the boot. Why? They will get a bonus six anyway from the dropout, but they had the field position and Ross Dog lost the plot. It's not too bad. That's a heads up play, Rossi. Not too bad. They still get the ball back in this half. Two reads to play well, too. Cherry Evans at the back. The coup knocks on. The grubber kick through. The race is on. Cherry Evans there reads the game beautifully. If you're looking at the percentage, the Knights have a chance to get a high percentage to win this game right now. Did he get away with a little nudge there as well that caused the friendly fire? It was crafty play from Nathan Ross. If you've got a set of six from here, the half should get you home. Listen to the roar for Newcastle. Do you wait to the last two? Depends where you are. Jerry Evans drives it low. Bouncing ball for Kenny Dow. Work it towards the post, boys. That's the cry for the Knights. Has Kalen Ponga got a left foot option? Oof. They nearly got in the muddle there. Guerra and Essiesi, who did really well to hold on. Penalty. As he milked a penalty. a penalty. Referee says, get back to your feet. They have put the whistle away in Golden Point. Right. Now do they go He's for off. it? Griffin for Pierce. Back to Brock Lamb. Cherry Evans got the charge down. Fresh set of six for the Knights. Guerra! Guerra! Just short. Managed to hold on to the pill, though. Mitchell Pierce doesn't look for the one. Manly had backed off a little. He might have had room there. Now they can have a go. Griffin. Back to the half back. Mitchell Pierce this time. You betcha. The dream debut for Mitchell Pierce. The long time rooster is a hero for the Knights. They do win on the opening weekend. What emotion. What emotion from this 23,000 fans here at Newcastle. It's been a long time when you've cheered something home like that. If you support these colours.